Today we're going to talk about QPDF Pro and whether it can serve as an alternative to Acrobat Pro DC at your law firm. With Adobe Acrobat having switched over to a subscription model, it now costs over $180 per year to subscribe, not own, a copy of Adobe Acrobat's PDF making software. Now, in considering whether Qt PDF Pro or any other software can replace what Adobe Acrobat Pro provides, I think there are really five key categories of tasks that it has to be able to do. It has to be able to print something to a PDF, like say from a Word document or an Excel sheet or a PowerPoint. It has to be able to rotate images if they've been scanned in sideways or if images are in the wrong orientation. It needs to be able to bait stamp. It needs to be able to OCR or optical character recognize or be able to read text from a scanned image. And it needs to be able to make permanent redactions. The first piece of software that I'm going to look at in trying to replace Adobe Acrobat Pro DC at our office is Qt PDF Pro. Now, Qt PDF is something that I've been using for a long time uh, through the various places that I've worked. And uh, there's a free version of it, Qt PDF Writer, that you can use if you just need to be able to print something to PDF. And so that's something that's relatively simple to do. You can just install that. Here's the website. Take a look at it here. Here's the Qt PDF Writer. And that will let you convert most Word documents, Excel sheets, any of the kinds of things that you might have as native files that you want to produce as PDFs, that's something that it can certainly do. Now, the good news is most of you probably won't need Qt PDF Writer because most of the programs that we would need it for these days have built-in functionality that will convert those files into a PDF. So when you're in Word, when you're in PowerPoint, there's a Save As option that will let you save it as a PDF so you don't have to go through that middleman. If you don't have that option available for the precise piece of software that you're using, install Qt PDF Writer and, and that, that part is free and then instead of saving it as something you'll print it and the printer you'll choose is Qt PDF. So let's go through and give that a try. So let's say I've got a Word document here. Let's open up a Word document. And I'll put some test text in there. And instead of saving it uh, the normal way that I would, and here's that option for save as Adobe PDF that's built into most newer uh, versions of uh, Microsoft Office these days. But let's say that wasn't there. I can always, instead of going to save as, I can go to print. And having installed Qt PDF Writer on this PC, I can then choose Qt PDF Writer as a printer. And when it does that, it'll then, I'll hit the print button. And after a moment, it'll give it to me as a PDF. And so that's something that I can then save to my desktop. Qt PDF print example. And now if I look at my desktop, I've got that PDF right there. So that's one thing that I can do. But what about the other things, that, the other four categories of things? Now, Qt PDF, uh, if you get the pro version, you can then rotate images as well. So let's say, let's open up that uh, PDF that we just made and let's open it up in Qt PDF Writer Pro. And I'll have to find it because it's not the default app on this machine. Let's open up Qt PDF Pro. All right, and I'll open up a file and let's open up that file we just made. Here we go. We have the option to, in the tools, to rotate any of the images. We can rearrange them. All the basic functionality that you would really need to get through kind of the day by day in manipulating, reading, reviewing PDFs. So all that's there. You can even do bait stamping in Qt PDF Pro. And the good news about that is it's only $50 for this piece of software. And it's one license, so you'll get one install of it. But it's for life. And so they'll always give you free updates of it. So it's a one-time purchase, 50 bucks, that's it per machine. So if you've got yourself, another attorney, and then two paralegals, that's four installs of it for less than it would, for about the same as what it would cost for you to have one install of Adobe Acrobat DC for just one year. So the, the economics are there. Um, so you can make the bait stamps as well by going into the header and footer section and you'll see if you've 
done bait stamping in Adobe Acrobat Pro. This should look a little bit familiar. And for this one, I'll come into the lower right hand corner. And it, it's a little bit more, you gotta do the work in terms of writing in the code that you need for the bait stamping, but they give you a little handy cheat sheet over on the side over here. So for bait stamps, I gotta come over here and use this caret B, and then let's say I want this to be three digits and start at number eight. One, two, three, eight. And so that's three digits with starting at number eight. I hit OK, and there it is. So that's the way that you can bait stamp in Cute PDF Pro. So let's do that with a uh, larger document so you get an idea for what that looks like. Here's another JTX exhibit from an, a case that I worked on a little while ago. Uh, let's again open it up with Cute PDF Pro and go to open on the desktop. And I could do the same thing where I can bait stamp it. So let's bait stamp it in the upper left hand corner. And I'll look over here for this handy little cheat sheet area for what I want it. And let's say I want to put a prefix in front of it. Let's say I want to put GTC as a prefix. Then I could put the less than B, greater than B, and then what number I want to start at. This time, let's say I want it to start at 1001, 1001, and I'll hit OK. Then after a second, you can see it's got the bait stamp in the upper left-hand corner. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that on all the pages, it has consecutively numbered all the pages with the bait stamping starting at the number that I gave it. And so that works out pretty well. I don't know that I would want to use this for if I had to bait stamp 10, 20, or 100 exhibits or documents at one time. But it's something that you can do. And ultimately, it's a question of the economics. Do you want to be able to have the batch bait stamping functionality that you have in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC? Or if you don't really have to bait stamp that many exhibits or documents at one time, then maybe not having that batch functionality isn't going to be that big of a problem for you. So that's something that you can decide for yourselves. Here's the two drawbacks uh, of Qt PDF Writer Pro that make it false a little bit short for me and depending on the needs of your office you may or may not find this to be a showstopper is that there isn't any OCR so for example on this document I can't come in through here and select any of the text so the way that this document was printed and then scanned it wasn't scanned in a way that were printed in a way that it recognizes the text and so all that the computer sees is a picture of words and it doesn't understand what any of those words are to make the computer understand what the words are, you have to run it through a process called OCR. That's something that is built into Adobe Acrobat DC on the pro level. And that's something where it'll go through every page and recognize all the text and try to do a, a good job of reading it. Cube PDF Writer Pro doesn't have that functionality. It also doesn't have the ability to redact any documents. So if you ever need to be able to take materials that have been produced by the opposing side, and you want to be able to word search it just for your own sake to make it more convenient as you're reviewing things or after you've done your initial pass a doc review on what the other side has sent you if you then want to go back and word search for things that's going to be something that you're not going to be able to do in this program now a lot of you will already have OCR software that gets bundled when you buy a document scanner so if you buy like a Fujitsu or a Kodak or any of the or an Epson document scanner like a desktop like document scanner a feeder device a lot of those will have as you scan materials OCR software in there and you'll be able to run OCR even on software on documents that weren't scanned in that scanner so it might not be a deal breaker for you but for me I feel like all those functions should be packaged into one piece of software so I find that a bit of a misstep and then also from a legal perspective not being able to redact things I think is a big problem for most of the people that Cute PDF Writer Pro is trying to attract, I think it's probably not a big deal. But for the legal community not being able to redact things, even if you don't think you redact that often, that once in a while when you do have to redact, it's a pretty important thing to be able to get it right. And so uh, not having that for me makes it an interesting product, but not one ultimately that I could recommend as a complete replacement. Whether or not it will work for you and your law firm is going to be up to you. You can always do the math and have one person have Adobe Acrobat Pro DC to have all the features that you might need and then have the rest of your users in your office, depending on their tasks and roles, have Cute PDF Writer Pro and then kind of do a division of labor in that way. So that way you do have every year you'll have 
a couple of hundred dollars of savings. Do that a couple of different times in a couple of different spots, and you've ended up with quite a bit of savings for your law firm. So that's something to think about, but those are, in my mind, the pros and cons of Cute PDF Writer Pro. There's also a free version that you can look at if we go to the website here. And if you just wanna test out what the uh, bait stamping feature looks like or how it looks and feels to uh, use Cute PDF Writer, there's one, there is a trial version, which is what I'm using. Uh, we'll let you use it for free for two weeks. And then you can also use the web-based version, which will open up uh, uh, an interface online where you can work with a PDF. And let's get it pulled up here. And it'll open something up in Adobe Flash, and then you can open up your PDF in that browser. And it takes a little bit of time because you're uploading your exhibit to their servers. And I'll talk about some of the concerns I might have with that in a little bit. But now I have it here and I can see thumbnails of everything that I have. And essentially all the tools that I had available to me in the pro version are available to me for free in this browser based version. And I can do things like uh, in the header and footer section. Let's see where is that? I can uh, choose where to put that header and footer and I can even apply a bait stamp from here. It takes a little while to do, and this is definitely something that I wouldn't want to do if I had to bait stamp 30 PDFs in a row. So that would be quite a cumbersome task, and I really wouldn't want to do that, and I wouldn't recommend saving your money here. You'd be spending more money in labor costs than you would be saving money by not buying the Adobe Acrobat Pro if that's something that you run into frequently. But the other way to think about it is that if you just want to try it out and see how it works, this is another way that you can do it. The big caveat though here is that because this is a web-based interface, you're uploading this document to I don't know where. Now, I trust Cute PDF Writer. They've been around long enough that I don't think that they're gonna stick any malware or viruses in it. Always check with your IT professional before you download anything on, off the internet. But uh, I don't know who has access to this kind of information. So if it's something that's protected by attorney-client privilege, by uh, HIPAA, if it's uh, personally identifying information that you shouldn't be disclosing even inadvertently to outside parties, that's stuff that you wanna be careful of. I know that there's a lot of government agencies at high, higher level of security concerns and even using services like Dropbox, even though those are very secure, aren't secure enough for them and something like this definitely isn't gonna work there. And so you're going to have to be able to have a conversation with your IT professional as to whether this is something that can work for you. If you're not sure and you still want to try out Cute PDF Writer Pro, I'd say either try this browser-based interface, which is something that you can do uh, from any computer, or uh, you can download the trial. The last limitation that I will mention is that it appears that Cute PDF Writer Pro is Windows only. I don't think that there is a Mac version out there. Uh, so if you do, so if you're on the Mac, you're gonna have to keep looking for alternatives. I'm gonna keep looking for alternatives as well. So uh, if you wanna follow me along as I search through the different Adobe Acrobat Pro alternatives, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I make future updates in this search. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there and I'll see you in the next one.